Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Jim here. North Korea appears to be pressing ahead with its nuclear program. Now, satellite images recently detected hectic activity at the North Korean nuclear test site, Pungiri. Now, experts say that after North Korea's last nuclear test, minor tremors were detected near Mount Mantap, located near the uh, nuclear site. However, Pyongyang is now engaged in additional tunnel work at the site. So they're still digging tunnels. And you can see a, uh, an illustration right here. I should say a photograph of the things that are going on. There's still a, there's a heavy lift crane. There's a new ground scarring and dirt road for possible instrumentation site. But there's still healthy vegetation indicating no recent tests. But anyway, I'll continue here. Now, according to experts uh, at 38 North, a U.S.-based think tank, the fresh activities were detected at the west portal of the site, indicating that the site may be undergoing an expansion. Meanwhile, the north portal, where the previous five tests were conducted, appears to have been temporarily abandoned. Now, at the west portal, there has been consistently high activity activity since North Korea's last nuclear test. This includes a routine presence of vehicles and personnel around the portal, movement of mining carts from the portal to the adjacent spoil pile, and signs of fresh spoil being dumped onto the pile, a 38 North expert said in a blog. Now, these activities suggest that tunnel excavation, tunnel excavation, excuse me, is underway at the West Portal as the North Koreans expand the site's potential for future nuclear testing. Now, over the weekend, uh, Strategic Sentinel tweeted that Pyongyang Radio had broadcast secret coded messages over its uh, 6400 kilohertz radio station. Such transmissions have previously been observed uh, preceding major weapons tests by North Korea. Um, so are they going to test another one, folks? Well, I guess we'll soon know if they test it or not. But uh, the saga of North Korea and what eventually may or may not happen here is, is continuing. I will leave you a link to this. And when it comes to links, I'd ask you please to subscribe to my channel. I don't, uh, there's a, a button right there, folks, near the video. You can also hit the bell icon uh, to uh, get uh, messages via email that I've put, it new, put up new content. Uh, please uh, give this video a thumbs up. Please share it if you feel so led to. But most importantly of all, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you. Hi, this is Jim. Please allow me to introduce my latest fiction book, Fortress, a wayfarer story. Fortress is an edgy and realistic fiction tale that depicts an America that is a far cry from that which your parents grew up in. God has been asked to leave the proverbial building, leaving the door open for enemies, natural and supernatural, to enter. As the nation stands on the verge of global and civil war and economic collapse, up is down, right is wrong, and a fog of deception has settled over the amber waves of grain. Lies are presented as truth, while those who would tell the truth are marginalized and persecuted. And could it be that those who disseminate the truth could have their very modes of conveyance taken away? If you're a fan of the alternative media and a watcher of world events, Fortress is a fiction story that just might smack of truth. It's available in Kindle and paperback, and it's linked below. Check it out today.